question I have for you, just how does it feel to be in Vigo County right now? Yeah, it's an exciting time. Uh, humbling uh, to be thinking that the board will be considering me for this position uh, next Monday. Uh, but um, if um, the vote goes well, then uh, anxious to get down here and get started. Uh, you have a great community and looking to bring my family, a uh, wife, a uh, daughter, and a son here to uh, become a part of it. Sure, and you touched on um, a little bit when we were talking earlier that public education is where your heart is. Kind of talk to us a little bit about why that is. Yeah, I, I think the more meaningful adults we can put in the lives of children, uh, our future will be very strong. And where else do you see that but in public ed and with through great partnerships, which is one of the reasons why this was such an intriguing position. Uh, partnerships with the Y, the Boys and Girls Club, United Way, uh, the backbone of post-secondary that lays with uh, in this district, uh, great community support, uh, PTOs, uh, unique, and you probably don't realize this, how unique it is, law enforcement, uh, in every building throughout the district in an age where safety and security is an issue. Just uh, uh, what a great community that wants to do that for its children. Sure, and kind of what are some, um, I guess, ideas or goals that you're hoping to achieve if this all goes well into your new position? Yeah, listen, listen, and listen some more. Um, we came here because it was a great school district. Uh, we need to listen to see how that came to be uh, you know, there is uh, huge shoes to fill uh, in coming into this position. Dr. Tanous is known uh, throughout the Midwest, not just uh, locally. And so uh, huge shoes to fill. So not uh, knowing that I probably not, not going to be able to fill those shoes, but how do I take the baton and how do we continue the great legacy that has uh, developed here in serving our children? And uh, again, just excited to get here and get started. Sure, and busy day for you. You've met with the teachers and everything like that already. So kind of talk yeah. about the vibe there. How's that? Been? Oh no, uh, you could just tell as uh, the elementary teacher, the middle school teacher, the high school teacher coming in, uh, sharing a tidbit of how they're impacting the lives of children. Uh, I was like, man, it's not going to get any better than this. And the next person would come and it was, oh, it's not going to get any better than this. But uh, this community is so fortunate to have, uh, that we, we maybe throw the word love around a little too much, but you could tell the love that faculty had today, teachers had today. And that's true really in anybody that I've met, bus driver, uh, cafeteria worker, staff member the love they have for the children and the school corporation. So it's been nothing but uplifting all day today. Sure, and then kind of coming in at a kind of a crazy time for the school corporation because you know there's talks of you know renovating the three high schools and things like that. Is it kind of intimidating walking into all this stuff possibly on your plate? Well I think again it's listen, listen, and listen. Uh, how do we create such transparency that our actions become predictable? And that's only through trust. So if those things are in our future, how do, we, uh, how do we find that out? How do we go out and explore? How do we build on some of the things that have already been done to investigate that? But then where do we take that? Um, uh, and uh, again, it's collaborative. It's building relationships. And it's starting to find what's the lay of the land. Today, I was very proud of myself. I drove from this office to uh, uh, Terre Haute South and did not get lost. So, and I was able to make it back. And so that was a very good day. Now, how do we go out? How do we find what's not only where the location of those buildings are, but what the great things are that are happening inside those? Sure, and kind of transparency is a big talker, especially among people in the community. Just kind of, what would you like the public to know as far as establishing that relationship and that trust with them? Yeah, I, I look forward to getting out in the community, uh, looking forward to meeting. Uh, we've met great folks. But this is just the tip of the iceberg to where I think the rest of the district uh, really is. And so how do, we, how do we uncover how people are helping, how they are assisting, uh, how they are moving this district forward, and uh, look forward to getting here and getting going. Awesome. So you're going to be meeting with like the community representatives uh, from now, five to sure, seven, yeah. right? Have you had a chance to meet community leaders, community people yet? Or it's it actually been a... It's, it, uh, the outpouring of uh, emails, text messages, phone calls of support 
uh, has just been overwhelming. Uh, had great opportunity to meet folks uh, last week. We'll continue that. Uh, but the real work is, you know, how do you, how do you continue that? This is a great introduction. Uh, but how do you really get to know the impact of United Way, Boys and Girls Club, YMCA, our youth, our, our faith-based community uh, on a district? Uh, you just roll up your sleeves and you go and you, and you find out what great things they have to offer and have been offering and how do we work together to continue it. Anything you want those, you know, community representatives, what, what would you like them to know about you? Yeah, that... Um, uh, we will continue to move this district forward if we do it together. Uh, and now more than any time, public education needs its community. Okay, that's it for me. When, you. as you're coming into town, obviously Dr. Knuth says over two decades here, pretty <laughs> popular guy, um, but nobody's perfect. Yeah. So what do you want to improve upon? What's the first thing you want to try to tackle? Yeah, my first goal is to try to, in my first uh, six months, is to know 10% of the people that he knows. And that's going to be thousands, so that may be just a far-reaching goal. Uh, he has a, a, as the leader of a district, uh, has done a phenomenal job here. Uh, I, I'm just wanting to take that baton. I can't sit, speak to any direction that I have before I've gone out and talked to folks about uh, what's best for this district? Uh, you know, what are the three things that you don't touch? And I've already found one of those out, and it is the gym at uh, West Vigo. Several people have said that is something that we're, we're not going to touch. So I'm very partial to gyms across the state of Indiana. Uh, so I, I get where that passion comes from. And you know what that really means? That's a community center. That's where we gather. We gather there to play basketball games, watch volleyball games, to graduate our children in. Uh, so, it, but it's through that type of listening till you'll know where where those doors will open up and where the community will want you to go. Well, we assume this is a real advancement for you professionally. Oh, yeah. um, your wife, I'm not sure what she does professionally, if she works or not. I believe your son's in high school, I mm -hmm. believe. I'm yeah. not sure the age of your daughter, but how hard is this on your family to after six years in Elkhart, I'm sure yeah. they're quite at home up there to, for lack of a better way to put it, rip them up and bring them down to Vigo County. Yeah, that's a great question. My wife actually uh, directs Cares Incorporated, which uh, is uh, designed to find mentors for children in the school corporation. Uh, it works hand in hand with United Way also to find uh, mentors to come in and do such things as Real Men Read, Spring Into Books, which I know you have here. Uh, so there's going to be uh, quite a few people that are so sad that Amy's leaving, maybe not that Rob Hayward's leaving, but sad that she's leaving. I have a daughter that's a sophomore at Purdue, and she's already uh, starting to meet some folks here. There is a, I got to figure out how you get from Terre Haute to West Lafayette, uh, but. Um, but uh, no, it's, it's been a welcoming commit, a community. Uh, for my son Eric, he will be a freshman this coming year. And so it is a tough time. It is a, a difficult transition for him. But as the uh, community has already begun to reach out to him, um, that, that's softening that blow a little bit. And uh, once he gets down here, I'm sure that uh, he will become a great part of this community.